Hi, I'm Michael Harley, West Coast editor for Autoblog, and I'm standing out in a drizzly Austrian Alps next to the 2014 Rolls-Royce Wraith. Now the Wraith is a brand new model for the British automaker, but the name actually goes back to the late 1930s when Rolls-Royce was making coach-built platforms for the coachmakers. But let's fast forward another 70 years and take a look at this vehicle. This is the fastest and most powerful Rolls-Royce the automaker has ever made. It has a 624 horsepower, twin turbo 12 cylinder under the hood, does zero to 60 in four and a half seconds and tops out at over 155 miles an hour. The CEO has called this the ultimate gentleman's Gran Turismo. So we're gonna take it for a ride, see if that holds true. We've been in the car for about an hour and a half now, and uh, completely relaxed, completely comfortable. Uh, the Rolls-Royce is a very isolated cocoon for the passengers. But then again, don't think for a second that it's not enjoyable to drive. In the past, I have not, being perfectly honest here, I haven't enjoyed driving the Rolls because they are so isolating. But the Wraith, You've got a shorter wheelbase, you've got a wider stance, you've got a lower center of gravity, and you've got so much power into the right foot that it's, it's a lot of fun to drive. We call it the ultimate Grand Tourer for very good reasons, because it is on the one side the first fastback coupe in history of Rolls Royce, and it is a car which is clearly designed for people who love to drive. It's still a Rolls Royce, but in a more, let's say, more direct way, how you steer the car, you feel the car in a very proper way, and it's something which, yeah, in combination of the power of the car, 624 horsepower, gives you an unbelievable feeling, and it is something which we call travel in style, definitely the ultimate gentleman's Grand Tourer. So I'm gonna bury the throttle right now. That's floored. Notice there was a little bit of a delay, about 130 kilometers an hour, 140, 150, 160. Picks up speed with very, very little drama. Obviously on the brakes pretty hard now. Um, but the power is just, there's so much energy back there. It's got this turbine-like thrust. Uh, sort of when you're into the runway and the, the pilot goes full throttle, there's a bit of a delay, and then everything just starts picking up really, really quickly and the speed builds and much like a turbine the faster it goes it seems to get faster and faster well this obviously has two turbos underneath the hood but it builds up speed in the same manner it seems to just get faster and faster the more air it's breathing and uh, despite the wind resistance uh, definitely powerful and no brainer when it comes to passing but uh, I think it drinks gas After eight hours behind the wheel and burning a full tank of petrol, I had an awful lot of time to think about the new Rolls-Royce Wraith. And I've uh, decided it's extremely powerful, incredibly comfortable. It's a wonderful machine, but it lacks that raw edge, that, that involvement that defines a true sports coupe. That said, I'd have to agree, it is the ultimate gentleman's Gran Turismo. I'm Mike Carley for Autoblog.